What's up guys? It's Friday, the day of the amateur show, still down here in Vancouver. Calvin's stuck filming and working for his company CSR. They're kind of shooting, taking pictures, doing all the media for the show. So, no vlogging for me today. I stole this camera though. It's the big ass Canon camera. I don't know how he holds this thing all day. But I just got back from the gym. I watched a bit of prejudging this morning and then I went to the gym, trained arms. Didn't get any footage, it's just been such a crazy weekend that I wanted to just kind of put my headphones in, get in my own space and train, especially because it's arm day, because that's what's most important, but almost most important with back, of course. But yeah, so eating another chicken and rice meal. I'm not even gonna bother talking about my food this weekend because literally just eating chicken, rice, salmon, steak, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, you know, how it is, but just, was surfing Instagram and today was the Chicago Pro. The classic was today Friday, or it's classics tomorrow for the Vancouver Pro. And everybody's boy Wesley wins, he won his show, he won Chicago. So luckily you guys get to see what you wanna see and we'll be stepping on stage beside each other in 10 weeks at the Olympia, which is pretty exciting. A lot of people in the comments actually that I'm seeing are a little upset with some of the pictures. They are saying that Amit Roy, I think his name is, Bengal Tiger on Instagram, that he should have won. But pictures, you can never tell. It's always different being there and stage looking at him. From what I saw, I'm guessing they gave it to Wesley because he's just so much more overpowering. Amit was a bit, little bit shorter, and Wesley's like 6'2 or whatever he is, and that, that tall frame, just like it just catches your eye. And it helps me out too because I'm often one of the taller ones. So, welcome to the Olympia stage, another tall boy. It's gonna be a goddamn interesting show, that's for sure. All these new guys coming up. All the new guys come in their big names now That's with a lot of hype around them. It's not just guys coming out of nowhere, so it's going to be a crazy show, that's for sure. But for the rest of the day, I'm going to eat, and then I think they're very behind on the show. Cause there's like 500 people, and they're trying to get it done in one day. So they're already late. It's 5.50 right now, and they haven't even started the night show. They're still going on the morning show, which started at 9 a.m. So think about that, like nine, ten hours of just prejudging. But after eat, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna watch finals. I wanna, I definitely wanna see classic. One of my buddies, Landon Crowder. Shout out to fuck Crowder Six. Check his YouTube out too. He's up there. I know he got first call out, so he's he should be stoked with that. Pretty stacked up lineup out there. Um, Drobot's up there. Everybody's favorite Cody Drobot, the Canadian, the classic kid they call him. Just a lot of pretty amazing junior competitors, sorry, amateur, not junior, amateur competitors out there. Gonna be a fun show, I hope. And then Ian and Melissa are competing tomorrow in the morning. And I know they get like probably pancake breakfast or burgers tonight or something. And I don't even get invited because I don't want to watch them eat. But I'm very excited for them. I was. Right before the gym, I stopped by, I picked Melissa up from her hair appointment, dropped her off at her hotel, and they were both posing, practicing their posing. Look, absolutely crazy. And my sister actually posed with Kenny Wallach. The, he, she did a Skype call with him to help with her posing, and apparently the cues he gave her just like clicked in her head, and she just looks, her posing is so much better right now. So I'm excited to see how that translates on stage. And I'm thinking I need to get down to New York and pose with Kenny too, because I hear nothing but good things about him. And Ian, it's just absurd. I mean, Calvin's gonna try and film some of that tomorrow so you guys will see, but holy, he looks in, he looks insane. I've never seen him look anything close to this. Biggest, leanest, hardest guy I've seen, like, up person like that. So definitely excited to see how they both do tomorrow. Be pretty crazy if we all got to step on that Olympia stage together. I mean, knock on wood, not drinking anything, but it's not the last show of the year either. Be pretty crazy to have the three of us, the trio, the family, all competing up there be pretty crazy. Other than that, not much to say. Not getting much filming done today. Just gonna eat and go watch the show. You wanna talk about bodybuilding problems? I'm trying to put on normal clothes instead of wearing gym wear to the night show. Put my jeans on and let's just show you how it looks. No. I could pretend like I just ripped it, but we all know I'm just trying to show off my teardrop, so that new bodybuilding swag, just sit down in your pants, rip the shit out of them, and then you get to show off your quad games. I ain't complaining. Headed back to the night show right now, watch the bodybuilding, classic physique, bikini, bigger, all that good shit, all the finals. But uh, 
stole Calvin's car right now because he's working the the expo he's got to film. So we've been shredding the car all day, drag racing the streets of Vancouver. Which, by the way, I don't know if you can't see anything. Can no zoom on the camera. Maybe I'll go try and find a view better. But everywhere you go, there's like beautiful skyline, hills. Everything, once it opens up a little bit, you look into the background and it's just mountains. It's such a damn beautiful city. And I, I don't think we're downtown, but the traffic has not been awful and I hate my traffic. So, people from Vancouver, if you have decent traffic and this beautiful of a big city, with great shopping, I would not mind living here. I must admit that. I'm trying to fuck with the zoom. But yeah, so headed to finals now. I'm being Calvin's savior and getting him monster energy because people are dying in there. Also, pro tip for anyone who lets you borrow their car, fill the gas up. Don't be a dick. Be a bro. If you're going to drag race in someone's car, at least give them some gas. Yeah, I headed to the night show. Gonna watch that. Apparently, it's gonna only be over at like 2 a.m. So, shit. It's all you amateur competitors out there have to compete in these shows and aren't getting on stage till like 1 a.m. I know you'll bitch and complain and it absolutely sucks, but honestly, there's often nothing they can do about it. I've been behind the scenes with promoters, seeing everything happens. You don't know how many people are gonna get there, how long it's gonna take, and for people to actually get looked at and judged, it really can just take that long. So, try not to hate. It happens. They'll learn better next year, hopefully, maybe make it a two-day show, because it's a lot of people to have on one day. What are you going to do, you know? The world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> Cute little boy. Thank okay, you. Have a good night. Wow. <sighs> My giant cup of coffee. My pre workout. <laughs> It actually looks cool. Eh? It actually looks cool. Does it? That's because I'm a cameraman. Whatever. Today is our last day in Vancouver. It is very too early right now. It's like 10 a.m. Going to train legs because I haven't trained legs since being here. But uh, day after the show, Melissa and Ian yesterday, they both ended up fourth place, which, yeah, they were hoping to do a little bit better, but shit happens in bodybuilding, you never really, never really know what to expect. They both look really good though. They're happy, frustrated, but happy and motivated. So I think they're both planning on doing another show coming up. So I'm probably gonna travel with one of them to those. So potentially go into a new show. But for now, it's leg day. We're headed into West Coast Iron.
Oh, yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, 30 minutes. Nine? Yeah, 30 minutes. Maybe. Well, we're effectively already almost done. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fast. Really? Yeah. So nice. Oh, you want it there. You should eat this or something. Today's workout, quad extension, hamstring curls, go home. not done quad extensions in eight months other than 20 pounds so I'm just trying to warm up my knee because I finally feel a little bit better but I literally haven't used this in the exercise in eight months and I missed the hell out of it but it's proof you don't need to do this machine for big legs even though mine are still small right now but they're coming back oh it's gonna hurt my knee Leave my phone and stuff, bro. I disregard it. I disrespect it. I beat it. I step on it. But it still loves me. That's my favorite part of traveling is using different machines, especially this one. I only used it once. The Arsenal Strength Machine at the Arsenal Strength Gym. When we went down with Ian to visit Matt Jansen, it's just none of my gyms have like a sled hack squat. I guess you would call it a true hack squat on a 45 degree angle like this. So just different things you can use on the road, you know? And I never really free weight squat or try not to on the road because you never had 100% and I don't want to fuck my shit up any more than it is.
three hours. And I'm praying I get a flight attendant like my last one. Just flew like a five hour flight and I was the front front seat, right in front of the flight attendants when they sit down and there was this young blonde lady who just became a yoga teacher and was explaining her life to me. She started asking me questions about bodybuilding. Her first question was, first thing she said to me was, I wonder how much your leg weighs. Because you know my leg is in the aisle. And she literally just gets up and she grabbed my leg and she started shaking it. Asking me about that, started asking me about bodybuilders, how much they eat. And they literally went to the washroom at one point, came out and she like cornered me and she was like, I have one more question. How big is your guy's poop? Straight up, just ask me that. So, needless to say, it kept me entertained for a five hour flight. It's a little awkward, but if it kills time, it kills time. So, fingers crossed she's on my flight again. Frustrating part about leg day right now. Randomly, do movements to my knee to start to fucking kill. I get like a searing pain right across my knee. Makes me want to cry. Oh. my go-to my knees are hurting I do machine normally we have like a straight machine at my gym I just go really low close together and I push up on my toes and it just fires up right on the quads doesn't put pressure on your knees gets you a filthy pump 
Do you guys have a note? I do too. What? Oh, yeah. Most of them, everybody. I'm never gonna be natural on your camera, sorry. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> With both of us? Yeah, sure. I wanna be in it, okay? I wanna be in it! How does it feel like I'm gonna be in Probably the worst idea to do before a five hour flight. Like an hour before a five hour flight. But my legs are shrinking, so I have to goddamn train them. Ten weeks. Ten weeks, and these things can't look like twigs. remember for straight leg deadlift deadlift that I would try to keep my head up like looking in the mirror and I get the worst neck pain so you have all this weight pulling you down and stretching your head up so it's important to keep your head neutral as you move keep your head in one spot you fuck your damn neck up like I do Well, that was a pretty shitty leg day. Got like three and a half exercises in. So needless to say, 
Tuesday will be leg day. Two days from now we're going round two leg day. So that was shit. Or I'll even finish it tonight, we'll see, probably not. But, had to rush out of there. Too much talking. Too much talking, now we gotta go to the airport, literally from the gym to the airport, so the life we live. But that's all she wrote for Vancouver weekend. So that that is the final finale of our Vancouver weekend. Headed to the airport right now with Melissa and Ian. Well, we're going to get them, then go to the airport. <clears throat> the very busy weekend. Friday was a long ass day at the amateur show, but it was fun. Got to see there were some crazy athletes, athletes, competitors up there. Guy from. Classic Isaac Bayer. He won the classic out of the pro card, competed the next day in the pro show, and I think he got top five, which is pretty fucking awesome. Can't complain, that's a good weekend for the guy. And yesterday at the pro show, Mosa got fourth, Ian got fourth. Like I said, they're moving on. They were they're happy with how they looked, wanted a better placing, but that's how it goes sometimes. So on to the next one. They're both planning their chips. I won't say anything until they're 100% booked them and decided, but I think they're gonna be doing some more shows in the next few weeks, so probably means more traveling for me. But I'm headed back home tonight, we get in late, and then I gotta fix my car this weekend, or this week, so I gotta, gotta get that in, get it fixed. So I'm flying to Mississippi on Friday, and then from there, that's just how it goes, you know? So it's a good weekend. I've been training at West Coastal Iron all weekend. F fucking sick gym. Excuse my French, but I wish I had a gym like that back home because it's just better atmosphere, better machines. Everyone in there was a competitor this weekend, obviously. It's not like that all the time, but there was a show down the road, so just great environment. Today it kind of ruined my workout, not gonna lie, because everybody was doing photo shoots and chatting and having fun, so I had a pretty shitty workout, but I'll have to make up for that this week because legs are important that I gotta bring them back up. And yeah, it's pretty much our weekend, so back home and back to prep. 10 weeks out, stayed on diet this weekend. I had one cheat, but all I had was a roll of sushi and some fish tacos, so it wasn't bad. But back on prep 100% and ready to go. 10 weeks out from the Olympia. Game time, baby.